Man United 2, Brighton 0. Finally, Man United win the game. Um, <laughs> on social media, I said, I'm not going to ask the Reds, you guys, for your predictions. Maybe that way we'll win. That's going to keep going until we lose or until we don't win now. That's going to be the new ritual. First half, let's just, let's just, let's just pretend that, that the game was uh, just 45 minutes because the first half was non-existent. To be fair, we had a really good chance in the first half, which only came from a mistake. Brighton centre half tried to bring it down. Ronaldo's through on goal, which he would have been offside if he, if he if the defender didn't make it a mistake. Pass it to Sancho, where Sancho should do better um, in that situation. A couple of times now, I just need to trust his left foot like he did against Middlesbrough, getting into that situation. He had one against Fraser Forster as well, against Southampton, where he should have done better on that left-hand side to, to, to get the goal, um, but didn't quite. But he was exciting as well. But Brighton controlled the tempo. They controlled the game. McTominay and Fred wasn't great. Fred wasn't very good as well. It was a big issue for us in midfield. You know, Bissouma was just having the license and the freedom to go and do what he wants to do. Um, <laughs> why are they saying Scolzi? <laughs> um, do they think I'm Scolzi? They, they're, look, they're looking at me saying Scolzi, Scolzi. I mean, last time I checked, I'd <laughs> last time I looked, last, <laughs> last time I looked, I did not look like Paul Scholes, but you know, he's a legend. Um, but first half was, was dross. First half was, was really bad. And you know, Ronaldo's been going for a bad time, a lot of criticism, but that was vintage Ronaldo. No back lift, pick the ball up, travel and get it done. <laughs> and get it done. Over there, I thought you lot were calling me Scolzi. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's what happens when you win, mate. You know, people, people can see you in a different light when you win. Um, but second half, listen, the game was changed by those two moments. Um, the Ronaldo goal, which was fantastic at, at, when, when they were at 11 men. Um, he picks up the ball and that's what you need. It was almost like he thought, let me not overthink it. Let me pick the ball up. Let me travel and just hit. Quick, no back lift. Sanchez didn't even move right in the corner. Um, and you can see what it, what it meant with the celebration. No sue, no nothing. Straight, passionate, knee slide. You know he needed that goal. And he did. That's something we need because if you think about it, it's not like Ronaldo hasn't been having chances. And, you know, in these games where he's been on a barren spell, he's had chances to score. So if he's not going to contribute with link-up play and winning fouls and getting assists, that's, that's fine. But he's got to score goals, which is what he's synonymous for. And that's what he done today. That was, that was vintage Ronaldo, that type of goal. Picking it up, defenders sort of thinking there's not really much trouble here. We should be okay. Bang, in a flash, 1-0. Um, and then we go on the front foot and Anthony Alanga, to be fair to him, really well. He presses Lewis Dunk and forces him into a mistake. In the first half, what we were doing was waiting for things to happen. We wasn't proactive. We allowed, we allowed Brighton to pass it at their own tempo, at their own pace, be organised with the ball, be organised without the ball. And we were just waiting for something to happen, i.e. like when a defender miscontrolled it and then we were in. Instead, we got our tails up and it just shows you what goals do. We get our tails up, Elanga goes after Dunk and forces the mistake. Um, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a red card because I thought there was a fullback that was making him not the last man, but it was enough of a goal scoring opportunity for them to do that, which was good. But even in that moment then, you're still looking for us to go and get that second game. And for me, it wasn't until Paul Pogba came onto the pitch that the game absolutely changed. You look at the lack of quality in Fred, you look at him giving away the ball between him and McTominay. As soon as Pogba come on, the whole performance of the team just went up, went up tenfold. He plays a first pass, there's a, there's a pass, it got fizzed into him and he plays it first time and the defender has to almost tear his hamstring to, to stretch and get it out for a, for, a, for a corner for Manchester United. And he just set the tone. He zings one ball out to Luke Shaw, fades it 30 yards, easy. Gets um, Bruno in with one of them as well. Even, even for the goal that Bruno scores, quick free kick. He's thinking, he's quick, let's go kill the game. Pogba is levels and I was very surprised to not see him start. But in hindsight, Leeds coming up, then Atletico Madrid, is he just trying to freshen it up, have subs to bring off the bench? Okay, fine. So if you look at it in that way, it actually worked out well. But what it does show you, and that's what I was saying before the game in the predictions, is that Paul Pogba must play. There is no other way about it. it, 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 it you know, he does this synonymously the last couple of seasons where he has long-term injuries and then when he comes back, he helps us. Look what he done last at the back end of last season. Came back during that Europa League run. I think it was against AC Milan, got us through against that. He does what he does um, and we need him. He's got an eye for a pass. He's levels above anyone else on the ball. Um, and he just, he just elevates everybody's game. It's almost like the players go, right, Paul's here now. We can, we can do something. We can play. And that was really, really good to see. Jaden Sancho, a lot of people saying that he was exciting today. 
he's growing into it. You know, Ralph Ranick spoke about it in the press conference that he can show now why he's one of the best players in Europe, why he's one of the best wingers in the league. And it's about him believing that. What, what I see with Sancho is a player now that believes he's arrived at Old Trafford. He believes that, yeah, I'm the best winger at this club. I'm going to take the mantelpiece. I'm the, I'm the star boy. And it might not always come off. He needs to make better decisions sometimes. But what he's doing is believing that he's going to beat the man. He's engaging fullbacks. And fullbacks are thinking, shit, I tell you what, if Sancho's coming at me, I've got a big problem. So that's a big plus. A good job that Bruno gets a goal as well after the earlier miss. And David, De David De Gea, honestly, everything he lacks in distribution, which is poor, again, poor clearances, you forgive him. You forgive him because what he, what he lacks in distribution, he makes up for in shot stopping tenfold. I don't think there's a better shot stopper in the league. I honestly don't. Uh, yes, Edward. Um, Mendy's doing his thing and Alisson and Edison, they're all, they're all fantastic keepers. But obviously from a Man United point of view, how many times has he saved us? And that save he makes from Madeira's, Madeira's header is something out of this world. That is flying into the top corner. So if it wasn't for him, again, we wouldn't even have had the platform to go and win this, win this game. Lucky it was nil-nil at half-time. Players were booed off at half-time. Players were booed off and rightly so. Stretford end and, and, and some singing attack, attack, attack. We shouldn't have to keep doing that. So there's, there's long strides to go. We can't get carried away. But when you haven't won how we haven't won in the manner that we haven't been winning, it's, you've got to get it done. And that's what we did today. And we managed to keep a clean sheet as well. Yes, the, the, the turning moment, the, the deciding moments was obviously the Ronaldo goal um, and the red card. Had it been 11 against 11 for slightly longer, who knows? We, we'll have to see. But we managed the game from there on out when we made the change as well. Um, to do that. Marcus Rashford, I don't talk about him really quickly. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what's happened to him. You guys know my thoughts. I've never put Rashford on some of the pedestals that some have, you know, to say that he's complete and he's finished and he's this and that. I still think he's a work in progress, but at the moment, nothing's going right for him. I thought when he came off the bench against Brentford and got a goal and then come off the bench against West Ham and got a goal, I thought, right, that's it. He's going to be back now. And still nothing. The worst thing I'm seeing about Rashford's performances right now is, OK, it's not coming off for him offensively when he's trying to make things happen. But when the play breaks down, it's that hung dog expression. It's that not trying to get back in quick. It's like he's almost feeling sorry for himself. It's really affecting him. It's really, really affecting him. Um, so I, I want to see him improve. Um, and for all that was said about Harry Maguire, look, people wanted him to be dropped, the captaincy stripped. Ralph Ranjit made it clear that's not going to happen, but actually he had, a, he, had a decent, he had a decent game today. I don't think Mope really did anything wrong. I think it's important to, if we're going to criticise him, we've still got to say when, when you've done all right. So look, two point, two, three points, two goals, Ronaldo, the duck's been broken. Hopefully now that will be him on a good run. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully that'll be him on a good run. My man of the match. I'm going to go with David De Gea. Who was your man of the match? Come through. Dallo, what are you saying about Dallo? Dallo, man, very good performance. So when I was sitting, yeah, right in the, on the half yeah. time, I was sitting on that side, obviously. Yeah. Very good performance from Dallo. No one's getting past him. Every single ball that came towards him, you get me? Sounds. So no one, no wan no, coming back in? Nah, man. wan injured, obviously, when Ranyak came in. Mm. Gave Dallo a chance. Dallo took his chance, man, you get me? Mm. Obviously, he's back now. What I'm saying is, Keep that lot there. What are you saying just quickly for Ronaldo? Ronaldo is he man. like the criticism that come his way? Obviously, it's gonna happen, innit? If you're the if you're the best player in the world, yeah. obviously you're gonna get criticised. But you know, he obviously came back today, scored a goal out of nothing. Get me? Like Shows he said, that he still passion, got that, isn't it? The yeah. passion. There was no straight knee slide. You get me? The passion was there. The fans were feeling it. Hopefully, inshallah, now he gets out of that. That little what are you saying about Pogba? Pogba, I mean, state bro, as, well. as soon as he came in, <laughs> changed G, everything. Changed everything, bro. Yeah. Trust me, that ping that he played to Luke Shaw was just so nice. Like mm. he, no one, no one could see it. Only Pogba, bro. Only Pogba seeing that, bro. Trust Going me. Going forward, then has he got playing all the games? I, I agree with what you said. Obviously, yeah. Randy's got a, he's got a, you know, do a rotation and that. So Pogba's fit, but hopefully against Leeds he starts. He has to start against Atletico, 100%. That's what I'm thinking, innit? Love, my bro. Guy. Appreciate that, man. Love. Love. Gang. Always, always. There you go. Smash the like on the video. You lot subscribe if you are new. We roll on to Leeds on Sunday. Tough game, but we know what it's like against Leeds. We're out of it. Peace.